Hey there, AP Bio families. Uh, welcome. My name is Eric Melgren. Uh, first and foremost, I want to apologize for not being here tonight. I couldn't be at my computer this evening, but I do want to encourage you to reach out if you have any questions, comments, concerns to my email address, which is emelgren at pps.net. Pretty good about responding. Um, and so I'll get back to you with any questions uh, you have or any feedback you have just about your learner. So uh, if your student has anything that I should know about, knowing more about my students helps me make for a better classroom experience. Um, so this is AP Biology, which is a college level biology course. And um, it's a very rigorous course and it can move kind of fast because our year really ends um, in early May instead of early June, because that's when the AP test is. So we need to make sure that students are feeling uh, like they understand all the content and fully prepared in time for that AP test. Um, it's a fun class. I love teaching this course, and um, I really try to make it as hands-on and engaging as possible. Um, there's going to be some lecture and where we are talking about concepts, but I try and make sure that we're doing something or have some sort of activity every single day um, because I know how frustrating it can be to sit and listen to something for 30 minutes, much less for 90 minutes. So um, since we're talking about the AP test, I'm going to start at the bottom of my list here. Um, there is an AP test, which allows your student to earn college credit. Um, and the expectation is that everyone in this class is going to take the AP test. It does have a fee attached to it, but there is uh, um, financial assistance for those who need it. If you're interested in financial assistance, there's a link on the calendar in Canvas that you can click on uh, to fill out that form and uh, be registered for financial assistance. So since I'm talking about Canvas, um, I'll mention the top of my list there. Um, if you're interested in helping out your student, please go to Canvas, click on AP Biology. Uh, you'll notice that the very front page is a calendar and that's a slideshow. So you can click through it because it's in uh, three week sections and um, it'll let you know what's been going on in class, what's moving forward. There's links to slides or anything that we did in class. Um, and at the bottom of that, you'll see a link for the financial uh, assistance form. Um, clicking on modules, you can find any work we have and um, you can just uh, stay on top of what's going on. Uh, the next thing I want to tell you for helping out your student is making sure they're staying on top of the reading and taking notes. So you may have noticed that a giant textbook was sent home and that should stay at home because um, the majority of outside of class homework that we have in this course is your student is reading and taking notes from that textbook. So we talk about that material in class, but I really view this class more as preparation for college level science than it is for preparation for the AP test. Uh, students in my class uh, can every year outperform the state and national averages for the AP test. So I'm not saying we don't prepare them for it, but um, my real focus is that your students are feeling like they're ready for that first year of college. And every single year I have students who come back and tell me that their biology courses in college were the easiest courses they had because they took AP biology. And so that I really take that to heart and try and make that the sole focus of this class. Um, and also at the end of the year, every student tells me that their advice for next year's students is they wish they had done a better job of keeping up with the reading. So I give students reading guides that you can use. They'll also be posted online that you can check out. And uh, if your student is doing the reading before we talk about it in class, then they know what uh, to ask questions about, what they were struggling with in the reading, and then they know um, then the live class can go a little smoother because they already have a little bit of a background. I do encourage your students to, if they don't understand something in the textbook, don't murder themselves spending hours and hours trying to figure it out. I strongly encourage the reading to be sort of a getting them a background in the information. And then when we talk about it in class, some of those gaps get filled in and they can complete those notes. 
Um, I want to let you know that everything that we do that's a project or uh, an assignment in this class can be resubmitted. And then for tests, um, retakes are an option, but I also allow for test corrections. The reason behind that is we have to move so fast in this class that trying to restudy, retake a test can take a lot longer than test corrections. And those test corrections do require students to have citations for where they found the information on any question they got wrong. And so it does necessitate that they're going back into the information and rereading and relearning. So that's kind of the process there. Final thing I'll say is we have flex time again, which if you don't remember is um, on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Last hour of the day is available for students to go to whatever class they need. We have shortened classes. So please encourage your students if they're showing up an hour early on those Wednesdays and Thursdays at home to be using that flex time because it's really valuable to have a teacher in the room if they're working on homework or any assignments who can answer those questions. Um, so again, please, if you have any questions about AP Biology, shoot me an email, emelgren at pbs.net. And uh, if you have any questions about the AP test or anything at all, let me know. Um, and I look forward to working with your student this year. And hopefully I will be seeing you at parent-teacher conferences. Have a great evening.